Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. In this video I will be showing you 30 very useful tricks in After Effects that will probably speed up your workflow and animations. And without a doubt you've probably seen some of these tricks in other videos, but I know most of my subscribers are fairly new to After Effects, so I thought why wouldn't I just make a video about the subject, as I'm sure many of you will still find this video very useful. So without much further ado, let's just get into the video. You can select all keyframes of a property by just clicking on their property. See, now I have all these keyframes selected. If your animation is too long, you can select all the keyframes and then click the last keyframe and while holding alt just drag them in and if we now preview this our animation is much faster if you're not familiar with shortcuts yet no worries i'll show you guys a few so ctrl c and ctrl v just work like any other software ctrl z as well ctrl d will duplicate your layer ctrl shift d will split your layer at the playhead time ctrl a will select all your layers ctrl a will select all layers pressing u once will show all the animated properties pressing u twice will show all properties that do not have the default value other tool related shortcuts are V for selection, H for the hand and G for the pen tool. When you have a shape layer and you want to create a mask and you keep having this problem where it keeps making new shapes, make sure to turn on tool creates mask up here. Now you can easily create a mask on a shape layer. You can edit your work area by pressing B for the beginning and N for the end. To edit the length of a layer, just select the layer and hit the left square bracket. This will make it shorter on the left side. If you move along a few frames and hit the right bracket, you can see that it cuts everything short after this time. So to shorten it on this frame, you have to hold Alt 2 and then just hit the right bracket. Note that these are the square brackets and not the round brackets. You can change the order of layers by selecting a layer, holding Ctrl and Alt and then use the up and down arrow keys. If you're not happy with the keyboard shortcuts I showed you earlier, you can go to edit and then go to keyboard shortcuts feel free to change them if you want to easily change the name of a layer you can select the layer press enter and just type in a new name you can select a layer hold ctrl and press the up and down keys to switch layer this does not edit the order like the other trick i showed you but this will just select another layer a little extra trick is that if you hold shift it will select more layers if you move down and upwards Okay, the next one is important. You've probably messed around with making shape layers and animating them. And I'm sure that you've also came across the problem where anchor point isn't centered. If I would just make a quick circle right now, you can see that the anchor point is not in the center. And if you don't have a very nice tool like Motion 3 that can help you out, it can be a pain in the ass. But what if I can tell you that there's a way to automatically center these anchor points? You can just go to edit and preferences, general, and turn on the following option, center anchor point in new shape layers. Press OK. If we now create a new shape layer, you can see that the the anchor point automatically centers okay what if i wanted to make a square right now but this one is set on the circle you can either drop down here but this might take some time another way is to hold alt and click on the icon this will simply cycle through them you can toggle between your composition background and transparency by using this button down here you can create a full screen mask by just double clicking and as you can see if it's an ellipse it will create an ellipse mask that fits the full screen you can reverse the layer by going right click time time reverse layer you can do the same with keyframes by just selecting all keyframes right click keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes if you have a composition with very many layers you can use the shy button to hide them this is this little icon here and clicking on the icon up here will toggle the mode on and off if you have the same problem but you have a composition where you want to access all layers you can drag the composition preview to the right of the screen if we now turn the zoom to fit up to 100 percent and we can drag this upwards we have a lot of space for layers and you still have a very nice preview you can save this new workspace by going to window workspace save new workspace as and just type in the name and press on ok you can save presets and effects and even combination of both as a preset just select all the properties that you want to save and the effect as well go to animation save animation preset as just type in a random name and if we now delete all these keyframes and the effects we can select our layer and go to animation apply animation preset and we can apply the same effect and you can see that it keeps the effect and the keyframes if you want you can change the color of a solid layer by pressing ctrl shift and y you can also change the size of the layer here. If you want to change your composition settings, you gotta press Ctrl K. You can change the length, frame rate, and size. If you're using After Effects Build-in Motion Blur, you can roughly increase it by going to the composition settings, going to Advanced, and increasing the shutter angle all the way up. If we now preview this, it's much smoother. I'm not saying it looks good, but you can do it if you want. You can create custom speed curves by selecting all the keyframes you have, pressing F9, and then going to the graph editor. If we now select these Bezier curves, and we can just 
edit them by dragging the handles in a bit. We have this really nice animation. If you want to create a mask of all layers underneath without having to pre-comp everything, just use the preserve transparency button. It's right here in between the mode and the track map. This will make sure that the layer you selected it will only be visible on the combined map of other layers. The same sort of trick can be done by using the mode and then selecting stencil alpha. This is basically a reverse trick where the mat of the layer will be used as a mask for everything underneath. If you want to inverse this mat, you have to switch this from stencil alpha to silhouette alpha. If you've got a vector logo and you've scaled it up a lot and it's still not sharp like a vector logo that you're used to, don't forget to click the continuously rasterize button up here. You can create a shape layer from an illustrator vector file. Just right click, go to create and create shapes from vector layer. And the last tip is a very useful one. If you don't have a tool like motion three, you can use this expression I wrote. I will make sure to put it in the description so you can copy paste it. You can see that the anchor point is not in the middle, but if we press A to pop up the anchor point, hold alt and click on the stopwatch and then paste my code. Now if we select the layer again, you can see that the anchor point is now centered perfectly. We can press P to, to pop up the position property and we can type in 960 by 5. 40 and now we have our centered shape with the anchor point in the middle as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making this as i said in the beginning of the video i'm convinced that some of you might have seen these tricks already but these are very handy so just keep me in mind guys make sure to like and subscribe all of that stuff i'd love to see some comments about what you guys think of this video i saw that almost 65 percent of you guys is not subscribed so make sure you drop a sub and then we can continue growing to 2000 subscribers that would be awesome so thanks everyone for watching and i will see you guys in the next video Bye everyone.